Hi, my name is Father Eric Mansell, and I'm the priest at St. Catherine's Episcopal Church in Chelsea, Alabama. This is the Middle Way video series, an opportunity for us to talk about the Episcopal Church and for people to ask questions about our tradition. In this video, we're going to be talking briefly about the third and final source of authority that Episcopalians use when discussing matters of faith. Reason. If you'll recall in our previous two videos, we talked about two other sources that we use. In the first video, we talked about Holy Scripture. And in the second video, we talked about tradition. Together with reason, these three sources form what many refer to as the three-legged stool of Anglicanism. In other words, our understanding of God is shaped by all three sources, and each leg of the stool needs the other two in order to stand. As we've talked about in previous videos, most Episcopalians believe that it's important for us to do the work of interpreting the scriptures if we want to know how God is speaking to us through them today. Likewise, it's important for us to remember that tradition must be interpreted as well. When we talk about tradition, we're primarily talking about the church throughout history. And just as the church has gone through times of reformation and change, we must also be open to reforming and changing our tradition. That is where reason comes in. As Episcopalians, we believe that God has blessed us with minds and intellects so that we can make decisions and have open conversations about topics that are difficult to explain or comprehend. We believe that there's even room in the church for those who have doubts and concerns about God or specific beliefs about God. Reason also allows us to draw upon our intuition and our past experiences to discern what God would have us to do in our own time. Reason has its limits though. As much as we would love to be able to have all of the answers, there are simply some things that we will never know about God. And that is where faith takes over. So what questions do you have? We invite you to post them in the comments section under the video on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel.